Welcome to another video of our Torah. This one comes to you from Armageddon, which in modern language might be called Armageddon. Now, you may be saying to yourself, wait a minute, Jews believe in Armageddon? We don't believe it in the Christian sense, but a great tragedy happened here to us, the Jewish people. And it happened based on a verse in Parshat B'chukotai. Let's first talk about what happened. There was a king, young king. His name was Yoshiahu or Josiah. And he was an excellent king, had a very broad vision for the Jewish people, wanted to reunite the lands of the lost 10 tribes, wanted to bring his kingdom, the kingdom of Judea, back in Chuva, get rid of all different kinds of idol worship, really bring the people back. And he felt, since I've brought the people back, we should be entitled to the promises that took place in Parshat B'chukotai, in this week's Parsha. One of which is, God says, V'natati shalom ba'aretz, I will bring peace in the land, U'shchavtem be'en macharid, V'yishpati chayara amin aretz. You'll dwell, you won't be afraid at all. Even wild beasts will be gone from the land. V'cherav lo ta'avor b'artzachem, and a sword will not pass through your land. The Talmud reasons, what is the difference between peace and no sword passing? And they say that it is called cherav shal shalom, which is the sword of peace. Meaning, not an enemy of yours, someone attacking someone else. Those were the Egyptians going up to the Damascus area to fight a battle against a completely different enemy. But that's Cherev Shal Shalom. They're passing here with no beef against the Jewish people. Very similar to the way that the United States puts fighter bombers in, in Turkey. We're not fighting Turkey. They're stationed there for other interests, for other enemies. Here, the promise, though, is your peace will be so pervasive that even of shal shalom. Even the sword of peace will not pass through. And Yoshiahu said, I believe my people are so righteous that I can go and defend the Jewish people, defend our peace, and forbid even the sword of, of peace from passing through our land. And he meets the soldiers of Pharaoh Necho at Har Megiddo, this place that you see right behind me. Unfortunately, the people were not as righteous as he assumed. He thought the institutions that he put in there, the methods that he installed for getting rid of idol worship had done their job. He didn't realize that the culture was that much harder to change. People were still secretly practicing idol worship and it wasn't the way he wanted. And so he falls to an arrow of Pharaoh Necho. And the reason it's such a great tragedy for the Jewish people is this is the last sovereign king of the Jewish people until the Maccabees, perhaps even until David Ben-Gurion. Josiah's children become puppets of Egypt, and then puppets of Babylon, and then puppets of Egypt again. He's the last sovereign king of Israel. And here, on this mountain, is Har Megiddo, is our tragedy, is the end of the Davidic line, in a sense sabotaged by the lack of, of trust and faithfulness of the Jewish people to stand behind their king spiritually. Shabbat Shalom.